it is really annoying while working or while doing anything we suddenly get automatic updates guys in this video we are going to do only two steps to disable automatic updates on windows 10 or windows 11 computer whether you're using a desktop or a laptop the procedure the steps will remain same so here the very first step is click on the search icon and type services and once you type it the best match will be services app so click on that and a new window will appear now i'll just maximize it now click anywhere in the services and press w and here we are looking for windows update i can see windows update enabled running and automatic so i just have to go do a right click and i need to click on stop once it is stopped once it is stopped I need to do a right click again, go to properties, and from here, automatic, make it disabled, click on apply, and okay. Once this is done, close this, and the second and the last step is type GP edit in the search icon. Now, it will come up with edit group policy, so I'll open it, and I'll just maximize it. Now, here we have this two options, computer configuration, user configuration. Now to stop automatic updates permanently on Windows 10, here we need to go to this computer configuration and under administrative templates, just do a double click. And here we will go to Windows components and we'll just need to scroll down. And here we will find Windows update. So just do a double click. And at the right hand side, you have many options. Now, the only service, only thing which we need to look for here is something related to automatic. So here I can see automatic updates detection, automatic updates detection frequency. Just do a double click here and from here, from enabled or not configured to select disable and then click on apply and click on OK. And just restart the computer and we have successfully stopped automatic updates permanently i hope you have enjoyed this very short video please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have successfully done it i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day